Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. That is right, it is Team RI. How is everyone doing? And this Thursday's edition, I am doing quite well. Everyone out there, I have social media accounts, but don't worry, I will discuss that later on in the video. Thank you very much for understanding. Now, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, we will feed up, grab some meat, or grab some to drink, or maybe just maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject, and of course, the link will be, will be down below, or the article will be down below. It will be strictly a link. You know why? There's a lot of amazing information to check out. Alrighty then, let me get to this video. Ron Rousey, some of you don't like her when she used to work for W. All the people love her very much with a passion. She has accomplished a lot with a short wrestling career. They push her way too soon how do you feel about that major push when she was in the wwe you like that or dislike it now i know for a fact the women at that time didn't like it like sasha banks and etc etc because they pushed her to the moon more than the current woman of when she was there and i think that's not right and i think there was a mcmahon's idiotic decision Whatever, you know. Okay, let me break this down. Ron Rousey has no plans to return to the WWE. Hey, that's fine and Danny by me. Because she's enough and she has nothing else to prove in this company, okay? Her last run, you could tell she was not very happy on her face. Looked like she don't want to be there. But she had to be there because she's still under contract at the time. Okay, Rousey, who left WWE after losing to her best friend, I'm just say that, at SummerSlam 2023, um, and um, recent appeared on the Never Been Told podcast to discuss her new Our Fight book. So during the podcast, the two time the WWE Women Champions called WWE and assess Blink Show, you know, you know, dumpster fire, however you want to call it, behind the scenes, however she says it, you know, whatever, you know, probably because she's not too happy what's going on behind the scenes with Vince and et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, I just say it's a crappy show, you know. So uh, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say the word she says, you know, because you never know who's watching this video at the time. So, so you could check out all this information if you want to. So, I guess this is gonna be a podcast about it, and it will kick off tomorrow sometime. So, I think hopefully I got the information right. Now, a lot of you, or maybe a few of you. We're not a fan of it. I had read it on Facebook. Said, "Thank God she's gone." Now, do you feel the same way the people on Facebook, or do you have a different opinions of Ron Rousey? You know, I think she did a very good run in the company, very short and sweet. But my opinion is, she'll need to become champion when she was in this company. I don't mind she dominate the women's division, but was it really necessary, be honest, to let her do all this amazing stuff in the way, you know, hold a belt for a short time, and what do you think about her promos for the way? Do you think it was good, not good? Um, the only time I ever saw her live when she teamed up with Karango at the Mania against um, Triple H and Stephanie, you know, that's the only time I ever saw Ron Rossi. Well, another time I saw Ron Rossi, and that was at WrestleMania 31. I have no idea who the hell she was until I just realized that was Ron Rossi. She was very young at the time, and um, she was still part of I think UFC, so that's why she didn't jump over to WWE because she was under contract. So. So I guess she would never be in the W Hall of Fame.
because she's done with this company. You know? So that's it. You know, though you don't really don't need her. Because in my opinion, they have a great women roster for, for the raw roster and for the SmackDown roster. If you disagree, that's fine. Okay? It's totally fine. So and I know she was there just for the money. You know, probably probably McMahon give her a blank check and then whatever she wants or you know what I'm saying? Because she's knows the fighting world very well, but in the wrestling world it's a different ball game. So yeah, her last run was horrible for my opinion. I know she fought her best run. That match was not that great. And I'm so glad she's out of this company because you could tell she was not too happy. Her last run, or maybe she was putting up a happy face this whole entire time until the end. So she has a family, she has you know other things she could worry about, you know. So it sucks how things went wrong for her, but you know what I'm saying. But I guarantee there's a lot of ladies backstage were not happy in that time frame with when she was there. So have a good one now. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below for sure. Now, if you want to be part of the show, that's fine. Again, if not, don't worry about it. See you guys tonight sometime. Peace out.